Sagittarius. Welcome to your May bonus. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So my intentions for these bonus readings is to maybe bring you some messages. Um, if you had messages in your monthly readings that didn't resonate for you, my intentions with these bonus readings is maybe something here will. So please only take the messages how they resonate for you. If they're not resonating for you, they're not your messages. So take what you feel is for you and leave the rest behind. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female. It's a general collective reading, not a private reading. But if you would like a private reading, that information is below, along with uh, tons of other stuff. So please feel free to check that out. So we're going to take a little look into love, um, what's going on in life, and then advice guidance here from the angels. And then we'll clarify all the um, messages with the tarot. So Sagittarius, let's see what's going on for you in love. Some bonus messages for you here. The Sagittarius Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female. General Collective. Also, if you're new, um, you can check the description box below for a lot of information. And also, feel free to check out my channel, like what you see. Um, feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. You get about four to five readings a month. And if you do, thank you so much and welcome. All right, Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on for Sagittarius in love. I'm going to pull the oracles first and then we'll get into the tarot. So what does Sagittarius need to know at this time for the general collective? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female. Feeling that one. We'll take from the bottom. It's a new deck for me. Uh, this is the Power of Love Oracle by James Van Prague. All the decks are listed below if you're interested in those. All right, let's see what's going on in life for you, Sagittarius. What is going on in life, in the life of Sagittarius? What's going on right now, Spirit? Please thank you so much for the general collective. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female, whoever is watching at this time. What is going on in the life of Sagittarians? All right, they're telling me that one. And from the bottom. Okay. Let's get your... This is the Guardian Angel Oracle. Not too many people use this. It's a cute little Oracle deck. So let's see what the angel messages are for you. Guidance, advice for you, Sagittarius, at this time for this May bonus. For Sagittarius, collective, someone rising Venus, Jupiter, male or female. What are the angel messages of guidance or advice for you, Sagittarius, for this bonus reading? Spirit, thank you so much. What do they need to know? What's their advice? The Sagittarians. Oh, I knew I could feel there was going to be a, a jumper. All right, I almost took from the top. Let me take from the bottom. All right, let's see what we have for you. Let's see what's going on in love. We have expression. You are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love. So somebody's getting ready, ready to express how they feel about somebody. Individuality. You leave your unique stamp of love on everything you do. So somebody could be expressing to somebody else that they love their individuality. They love who they are. They love their uniqueness. Um, could be somebody expressing this to you or you expressing this to them. So I feel like, and I'm getting like all this like bright energy coming from this card. So I feel like like a bright shining light. So somebody definitely likes somebody's light, their individuality, somebody ready to express how they really feel towards somebody. Like I said, it could be you or it could be somebody, you towards somebody, someone towards you. All right, so let's see what's going in on in the life of Sagittarius. Two of Autumn. Bring fun into everything you do, juggling multiple priorities or jobs, and exceptional talent for multitasking. So it's a two of pentacles energy, so you may be a good multitasker. You may be juggling a lot around right now, trying to balance out a lot, finding your balance. You know, pentacles, two of autumn is pentacles, it's about work, career, finance. Could be about choices, decisions, balancing out those energies. And we have the star, this is nice. Look into the future with hope and optimism, the power of faith to move mountains, happy changes that bring relief from challenging times. So this is about 
remaining hopeful, optimistic. Uh, this is massive healing. It's happiness. It's joy. It's divinely guided energy. It's wishes and dreams coming true. So whatever you're juggling around, whatever you've been multitasking, uh, whatever deci decisions or choices you've been trying to make, balance out your energy. You do have faith, hope, optimism coming your way or you're in that energy or it's telling you to be in that energy. You have divinely guided energy coming your way, healing, time for healing, and some sort of wish or dream coming true that you've been juggling around. So we'll see how that plays in. We get into the tarot. So let's see what your advice or guidance is. So we have insight. And I believe that's Archangel Michael. And we have another one from Archangel Michael, release. So needed to release something here. So gaining insight, wisdom, knowledge, maybe, you know, praying, manifesting, learning something new um, here. But they're also telling you that something needs to be released. Gaining insight on what needs to be released so that the new can come in. And I think I had that one of your readings, um, I think, I'm not sure. All right, so let's clarify this energy. You could be gaining wisdom, uh, wisdom, oh my God, wisdom and insight on exactly what you need to release in your life now, or you need to do that. Heavy Archangel Michael energy here, and Archangel Michael is about truth, clarity, communication, justice, um, kind of energy, protection. All right, so let's see what's going on for you, Sagittarius. Let's clarify expression and individuality. You could see somebody as a star in some way, shape, or form. Someone who's very individual and has uh, a uniqueness about them. All right, so what is this expression and individuality for Sagittarius in love? This may bonus. The Hermit. So thinking about something here maybe withdrawing your energy, doing some deep diving, soul searching, healing, contemplating energy about love, being at a crossroads, not sure what to do. Should I express myself? Should I not express myself? Being at a crossroads. But you see, he's got the wand in his hand here and the hermit has the wand in his hand there. So I feel like you've made a choice maybe just figuring out um, how to express something here. All right, what else here for Sagittarius? The Queen of Swords, so there's that communication of expression. Queen, king or Queen, doesn't matter, but Swords are all about truth, clarity, uh, open, honest, truthful communication, cutting away not what's not serving you, uh, standing up, not backing down. And King, Queen, Ace always reminds me of divine intervention, divine clarity, source, trying to shed light, truth, clarity on a situation, especially with the hermit there. Again, could be deep healing, deep introspection, um, contemplation, thinking. All right, so what else here? The Sagittarius about love, the Empress. So knowing your value, your worth, birth of something new, or seeing somebody in this Emperor Empress energy, someone who's very uh, of high value, high regard, um, you know, embodies every energy of every queen in the deck. This is like the mother of the deck. So what else here? This could, you know, could be a business owner or something like that. Six of one. So success, victory, accomplishment, attention, and strength energy here. It's a very strong connection. I feel here, strong bond having determination, willpower, strength, courage, bravery, taming in the beast, the passion from within, um, having endurance and willpower. So I do see here, I mean, your two main energies here are expression and either doing expression yourself in, in a unique way to somebody, or you see somebody, um, you see their light, their individuality, their uniqueness, and you really want to express how you feel about them. But with the hermit there, I feel like you're unsure how to do this. You're at a crossroads. How do I express my truths? You know, I see somebody as this empress energy, or now you're in that empress or emperor energy of wanting to take, take control possibly. 
which would lead to success and victory in a very strong, uh, unique bond, I feel, between you and another. Because you see the infinity symbol there, so you could have had past lives with this person. And you do have the strength and the passion and the courage to do this if you choose to. But it's, we'll start with that open and honest expression here. Wow. So I do see a very strong connection here. It could be very victorious if you or the other can truly express how they feel about the other. I think you admire or they an, admire your, wow, uniqueness, individuality. All right. So let's see what we have for two of autumn in the star. So we do have the world. So this is about closure, endings, um, completions and then new beginnings. And we have the Nine of Swords in reverse, which is a good energy because now we're coming out of um, nervous stagnation, you know, fear, stress, worry, anxiety, you know, staying up at night, uh, that kind of energy. We're coming out of that energy now. We're closing a cycle. Feeling, feeling no longer fearful of closing a cycle, I feel. You know, you have, <laughs> you got the star here for major healing, faith, hope, optimism, wishes, dreams come true. Uh, divinely guided energy divinely something divinely guided to you is coming and you're closing out a cycle ready for a new cycle or a new cycles coming but you're not really stressed about it anymore you know you could have been juggling at one time not sure but now you could have your balance in some way shape or form so let's see what else here for the life of Sagittarius to a sword so you know maybe still being a little indecisive. I don't feel like you're nervous or stressed or have the fear anymore, but yet you're still a little on guard or indecisive about something here, making a decision, a final decision about something. Oops. Wow, that went flying. All right. Let me go get that other card. Wow. <laughs> major, major energy here. We got four major arcana here. Wow. So we do have the Hierophant, which talks of marriages, commitments, uh, higher levels of learning, um, faith, spirituality, religion, you know, government law, doing what's moral, just and right kind of energy. Um, fell out with the lovers. So we do have soulmate energy here. But then we have the devil too. So, and then we have justice. So, wow. So, I mean, we do have endings, closures, um, completions. So this definitely could be a completion of a marriage or a long-term commitment. Uh, you know, it could have been a very, you know, soulmate energy at one time that turned toxic with the devil here. So we got these two energies, but we do have the energy here of either separation, uh, legal activity, divorce energy here. So I feel like you may have been, you know, stressed about this ending, but I feel like you're coming out of that and you're balancing out your energy and you're feeling maybe, you know, a little more hopeful, optimistic about the future. You feel divinely guided energy coming your way, um, hoping and wishing on a star, dreams coming true, but yet yeah, still a little on guard and defensive. So I feel like I need one more. So what is this going in the life of Sagittarius? I think I've been getting this energy a lot in your readings. So what else? Any other messages for Sagittarius in the life of temperance? Well, there you are. <laughs> oh my God. There you are. I can't make this up. Temperance. There you are. So balance. Yeah. I feel like here's the balance here. Here's the balance here. And I felt that. So this is, you know, peace, harmony, and balance and being patient. Um, divinely guided energy. Again, temperance angel brings in what's divinely guided for you. So something divinely guided is coming in for you that will be a wish and a dream come true. Healing, massive healing here. I feel like that's why you're coming out of this Nine of Swords energy. Though you're still a little on guard, unsure, indecisive about something here. But you do have the Temperance Angel, which is your energy. So, you know, getting, you know, getting in that energy of, you know, peace peaceful energy, balancing out energies, being patient, but waiting. So there's a period of waiting, being patient and waiting for a ship to come in or something coming in. It's like, you know, you see something up ahead in your future. I think you're waiting on something for your future. 
It could be a new person, it could be a new job, uh, could be something, but you're closing out a cycle and balancing your energy, remaining um, hopeful, optimistic. Um, I feel like you feel like there's divinely guided energy coming your way that will be a wish dream come true. I feel like you've done healing, you're in the process of healing, but your ships are coming in, docking up, but it's just a matter of waiting for this to come in. So whatever that is for you is coming in for you. They are right there. They're coming to the shore. So whatever that is for you is coming in for you to remain uh, hopeful and optimistic. All right. So what is this insight in release about? I mean, this could have to have to do with this love. This could be ending one thing and going towards something else. So I mean, however, however this resonates for you. Or it could be two total separate things. All right, so what is this insight? So we got the Seven of Pentacles. What do I want to invest in, not invest in anymore? What is worth my time, not worth my time? You know, analyzing, assessing, evaluating, patiently waiting, gaining insight, clarity on investments. What do I release? What do I continue to invest in? page of pentacles so this is good news coming in um an offer or sending an offer out it's stable it's secure it's grounded it's small but it's tangible um you can trust this so there might have been an offer cut that came into you or are you extending an offer out that's sincere but we have six of swords here so this is going to a much better place leaving and releasing what's no longer serving you i feel getting that insight and investing and analyzing in assessing and only reaching out, you know, the page of pentacles, reaching out to what you feel you need to invest your time in and releasing what you're not and moving forward to a much better place of peace, harmony, balance. What do we have here? Well, that's too many. So what else about this advice? Oh, this is your advice or guidance to assess, analyze, you know, so you can move to a much better place, only extending out where you feel like your time and energy would be worth extending out to. It's sincerity, it's stableness, it's grounded. High priestess. So listen to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing in this energy to get you to where you want to be. It can also be about secrets, you know, maybe, you know, keeping to yourself while you're doing this or whatever here, but five of cups. So, you know, you may not be telling anybody about sadness loss in your life, maybe kind of bottling it up, keeping it to yourself, but let's see here. It's time to release that energy before swords. Yeah. Massive healing. So it's a time of releasing and healing energy, gaining insight, wisdom, Investing in only what is best for you so you can move to a better place while listening to your gut, your intuition, doing what's best for you. But, you know, any sadness, hurt, or whatever you have inside, and you just keep it to yourself. I mean, sometimes I can not be a good energy, but we do have a lot of healing here. So let's see. Let's see, Sagittarius, what else for you? What's your advice? King of Pentacles, so being secure, stable, grounded, uh, sincere, you know, financially set, standing on your own two feet, taking care of yourself, kind of energy. So this massive healing and releasing and analyzing and assessing will lead you to a much better place of feeling more stable, secure, and grounded, financially set. You may need to release this energy of like keeping to yourself over loss and hurt. You know, maybe talking to others will um, help in the healing process, however that is for you. Could be a wise advisor, counselor, or something like that. Okay, Sagittarius. Well, that's what I see for you. So I hope this was helpful. And uh, I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And best of luck to you. And as always, always, is to always shine your light.